hopefully Inshallah, when you will come back to school, so I am going to check all your tasks. Okay. Now, as the reading and explanation of this chapter number one, the unit number one is ten, and we have started also working on the book exercises, and we have done uh, this exercise A, and now we are going to do exercise B and exercise C. So now let's start from exercise B. Now here you can see it's written exercise B is true or false. Now here, this exercise is based on the true and false statements. Now, for true ex true statements, you have to put a tick, and for the false statements, you have to put a cross. Clear? I repeat: for the true statements, you have to put a tick, and for the false statements, you have to put a cross. You do not have to write this full spellings of true and false. Clear? Now here, if you see. One has been done as an example to you. They have put a cross here, so it's the same thing you are also going to do. You have to put a tick and cross, right? Okay. Now let's start reading. Now, if you see in this exercise here, we are having two statements. Here we have number one, and then here we have number two. Number one is about the magpie, and the number two is about the fables or stories that, right? Now these statements are related to this. A heading, and these statements are related to this state. Uh, this heading, clear? Okay. Now let's start. Now here, as I told you, this number one is already done. As an example, the magpie is quick at building a nest. If you remember, no, it is not. So, of course, for if it is not, it's wrong statement. It's a false statement. So you have to put across here. Next, we have. The magpie steals from other birds. Of course, the magpie steals steals from other birds. So it is a right statement, a true statement. So you have to put a tick here. Clear? The next we have the magpie is very intelligent. The magpie is very intelligent. Yes, of course, it is an intelligent bird. Number three we have. The magpie is king of the birds. Is this the king of birds? No, it is not the king of birds. It's a wrong statement. It's a false statement. So you have to put a cross here. Clear? The next we have the magpie can be very untidy. Yes, of course, the magpie can be very untidy. Yes, of course, it's a true statement. So you have to put a tick here. Then we have. Fables are stories that teach a message. Yes, if you remember, I told you that fable is a type of story in which the animals and the birds talk, and they usually teach a message. Clear? So it is a true statement. So you have to put a tick here, right? The next we have fables are stories that may have birds as characters. Of course, fables are such type of stories in which the birds or the animals are talking, and they can be used as characters. So it's a true statement, right? Then we have fables are stories that are only for adults. No, it is not. It can be for the children, for adults, for anyone, right? So it's a wrong statement. So we have to put a cross here. Then fables are stories that are always true. Are always true, right? Okay. Now you have to put a tick here. Then we have the last statement: fables are stories that are always sad. No, they're not always sad. Sometimes they are sad, funny. Sometimes they are sad. But here they have written they are always sad. No, they are not. So it is a false statement. So you have to put a cross here. Clear to you? Now, dear students, this book exercise you have to do it with pencil on your Book. You don't have to do this exercise on the rough copy. You just have to do this exercise only on the book. Okay. Now here you see. 
exercise C, we are going to do imagine. Imagine means to suppose. Draw pictures of a magpie's nest. Now you have to draw the pictures. Two types of pictures you have to draw. Number one, a magpie's nest. Right? And number two, something a magpie might steal. Now here if you see, there are two boxes. There are two boxes. Now in box number one, you have to draw a picture of a magpie's nest. As you already know that the magpie's nest is usually remains dirty and incomplete. Right? So that nest you have to draw over here. Right? Then here in the second box, what you have to do, you have to again draw a nest but something a magpie might steal. Like in that nest, you have to show that something which has been stolen by a magpie. So it can be a different type of uh, egg or it can be a shiny thing, right? Or it can be anything, right? Which has been stolen by the magpie, right? Now here when you will make the nest, that has to be um, made uh, exact uh, with the magpie's nest it looks like and then here you also have to make the same magpie's nest but in that nest you have to show something different like he has uh, stolen something there might be a shiny chain there might be a, uh, a shiny um, rings or that can be a some different type of egg is that clear to you? Now, uh, the thing which you are going to do in these two boxes has to be done with the pencil. Clear? That has to be done with the pencil. Now, here I have one picture of the magpie's nest. If you see that, so it may get a bit clear to you and it will be a bit convenient for you to draw it in these boxes. Now, look at here. Here I am having the picture of a magpie and its nest right here now usually if you see the nests look let me make it more clear look at the nest here it is not properly made if you see this it's not properly made right usually the nests are very neat and very properly made like there is no some extra grass and these type of things are not in the nest right now here but if you see it's not properly made so the same thing you are also going to do it here and then you also have to make the same nest here but there you have to show some different type of uh, nest like you have to show something different type of um, uh, like you can say you can have any different type of egg over there you can have some shiny rings or some shiny chains can be there some shiny twigs or grass can also be shown in that it's up to you. It's your choice. Clear? So it was all about uh, the two exercises. Hope to continue rest of the exercises in the next video. Still then, stay happy, stay blessed and stay safe. And don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.